Hey, welcome back everybody to my Crafting Paradise Let's Play series. This is episode 18. And it feels good to have a roof again. <laughs> um, uh, today we are going to start with something dangerous. We are going to make unstable ingots, ingots to craft ourselves the portal to the deep dark. And I also want to make a builder's wand. It's been way overdue to make one of them. You guys saw for a split second all the branch mining I've been doing down there. And I figured a safe location to do that would be down here. So I think this is where we're gonna go and do this. And I think down here should be safe. So I'm gonna put my chest there and put everything in it that we don't need. And if I'm not mistaken, mobs cannot get in, so... Hopefully. Alright, we don't need this yet. Let me turn on the sound. And we only need one of these, one of these, and this for now. Oh yeah, I gotta take off my armor. Because I, if you guys have never used any of these unstable ingots, let me hover over this so you guys can read. They are highly unstable and will explode after 10 seconds. They will also explode if the crafting window is closed or the ingot is thrown on the ground. Uh, um, so, and they only work in the last line here, must be crafted in a vanilla crafting table. So you can't use, you know, the Tinker's Construct crafting station and stuff. So how this is going to work is we make one of these, craft it, and then instantly put it back in the crafting table with a stick to make the builder's one. And I want to do this one first because it's easier. So the diamond goes here, that goes there, and as soon as I put the ingot in, we got to get going and do this. But this one should be pretty easy because... All right, there it is. So we got the builder's wand. This one is easy. The other one, you run pretty low on time quickly. So just to make sure that we're getting this right. Deep dark. In the corners, a triple, and in the middle, a quadruple, and then these four. And I got four triple and a quadruple. Whew. Well, hopefully we're going to get this done. So let's put this here, that. The corners, these four, and then this one in the middle. Out one, four, middle. Hurry up. Woo! Ah, oh, we had like... I think a second or less left. That was stressful. But we got it. I'm glad we did. Okay, guys. And I'm going to go over to the area now that I need the builder's wand for. And prepare all that. And then I'll show you guys what I put together. Okay, guys. So I finished building what I'm going to show you guys now. Oh, the builder wand was so nice in doing that. You guys see there's little rail tracks starting here and that is going to a brand new area now i posted yesterday after i uploaded the video um on the official crafting paradise let's play post on the minecraft forums or ftb forums sorry and i asked there you know what's the point of farmcraft here if there's no nodes and then Lumacon, the mod pack creator, replied that, you know, we're getting after a Thomcraft quest, um, a hoe of growth, and a few silverwood saplings. These two right here. And the uh, intention was to plant those and grow your own nodes, which I didn't think about, and it totally makes sense. And she or he also mentioned that the nodes have a problem with being stored in spatial drives, which I figured. But I guess there's one on the outskirts that was not removed. 
so i'm gonna look for that later today and see if i can find it and see what kind of node it is and i built this platform out here it's four chunks big and just a little area i also placed that chunk loader that i made a while ago and set it to two radios so this whole thing is covered the wall is just outside the chunks we don't need that loaded just so stuff over here i won't the grass spreads and so on hopefully by itself and it's okay to keep it chunk loaded and i wanted a nice way to getting back and forth instead of having to run or the jetpack is so slow and i didn't feel like putting um Teleposers from not not teleposers what are they called uh, uh where is it sorry guys and fine there we go oh they are called called teleposers my bad just to get out here because then you need two to get from there to here and another two to get back and we might do those for another place or maybe if we need to come out here very often then maybe I do it but I like rail carts I always enjoyed them um, so I just put that out here and we still have plenty of rails over from that and we still have a ton of creosite so we should be fine so I figured um, just gonna plant these here real quick and see if we're getting lucky maybe we get something um let's just put them three four five six all right so we got three here and i enchanted this whole growth um, unfortunately we only got unbreaking i wanted repair but Hopefully, we won't need it that much. There's one, two. Oh, yeah, and sorry, I didn't mention why I built this platform out here so far away. Because this is gonna now, it probably already did. It's still plains, but this is most likely gonna turn into a magical forest biome. And I didn't want that near the base. I want the base parts to be plains so that's the reason why i built it out here so now let's see if we got anything and if not then i'm gonna just crook them and chop them down and keep replanting until we get some all right unfortunately nothing here and i brought a few goodies for that i brought gold because these gold nixon which are just crooks have the highest chance of giving you saplings back and I figured that once I get one or two saplings off a tree, because they, they break very, very quickly, these Nixons, um, then I'm going to switch to the uh, regular wood crooks. Wow, they go through that like water. All right, there we got one, two. So now it's already broken. See that? So now the rest of this tree I'm going to take down with the regular crook and the other ones and I'm going to replant until we get a note and then I'll tune back in. Oh, well, look at our little forest that we got now. I am very exhausted. That was a lot of crooking and chopping. We got almost yeah, three and a half stacks of silver wood. And I used, I think, at least three stacks of gold to make those golden Nixons. And I still use um, wooden crooks after the first golden one runs out. I don't know. I must have chopped down probably at least 20 of these guys. And we do have a few nodes. Um not gonna show them all to you because you can get the picture uh, all of them are pure some of them are fading pure fading um and i think pure normal or something like that and they all have one or two um basic aspects and then most of the times one or two other ones you see this one has one and one um, where's a bigger one? I think up here somewhere. 
put it at the again. Here, yes. And I don't know yet. This one has four basics and then that other one, the hammer, whatever that's called. Uh, or Fodio. And I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do here. If I'm going to chop down all the leaves around them so only the trunks are left. And I think, oh, let me count here. One, two, three, four, five. I think we got six. Six here. And now I'm going to show you guys real quick where I found. I did look around the, the biome over there and I found where that notice that is in the spatial area. Okay. And then we'll go to the deep dark. It's all the way on the other side and I, I flew around this about halfway down and then I found it of course on the opposite side. So it's the longest possible way and definitely want to move that one over to the island because coming over here every time to charge is going to be a pain in the butt um so i think that we can make it um move up in thomcraft it's going to be a lot of research where is it i have enough juice yet you can already see it um and, you know, I don't know when I'm going to continue in the research and then get the, all the node moving together. And this one is, yeah, 22 Ignis, Perdicio, Sano, and Terra. So this isn't too bad. It's a normal one. And, yeah, so let me figure out where we're going to put the, the portal to the deep dark. And then we'll go venture in there and figure out what we want to do there. Okay, so I think right over here is perfect spot. Doesn't need to be protected or anything. Just place it right here in the middle. And I am leaving on the goggles are revealing. Um, because I want to see if there's maybe nodes in here. In the deep dark. So let's go. Check this out. I was even considering maybe making a... Uh, what you call it? Uh, uh, Ender Quarry, and possibly setting that up in here, because we could expand the sifting process and so on. Because I would really like more diamonds. It's it's like we're we haven't really gotten a nice cushion of diamonds yet. That's how I feel. Here and f7 see if anything on here nope um <laughs> you guys see how many chest uh torches i brought so we should be fine if you have never been to the deep dark um i'm gonna let you in on a little secret that when you are in the dark you start taking damage so you always want to light up places and have a lot of torches around you. I actually don't know if it's up here that you take damage already too. Or only when you go down to the ground level, I'm going to call it. Because we're actually up at 141. So about 150 when you come in. You need to make your way down carefully. You'll see in a second. Hopefully, man, this is taken. There we go. Bubble. And there is. Um, hope I'm not spoiling too much, but there is structures in here that you can explore, and they have loot chests. And I'm hoping to find one. And if not, then I'm just going to search until I find one and edit the rest out. Okay, actually, this, this, that. Okay, there's some torches down there. Yeah. As you can see, it's called the deep dark for a reason. 
So let's light this up. So from the bottom, hopefully we can see where we need to come back. Do we have juice? Um, let the turtle build something. Get down easier. Nah, let's just hop down there. Do have juice? Yeah. Let's go. Gonna probably start taking damage any second. Oh, I gotta turn that off. All right, safe. As long as there's light. Okay. I am going to mark this still. All right, let's see what these torches are about. But, ha, there's a node. Look at that. Get out of here. Let's check out this node. That'd be perfect. Now all this crooking for nothing. <laughs> Oh, zombie villager. Forty-six, forty-six. Not bad. About Ignis again. There's so much Ignis in the in the Nether. Something else would have been nice. No, get away from me. This bow doesn't do any damage. I thought this has power five. Okay, let's see what this place is about. Bedrock. I see you. Oh yeah. Light up around a little bit. Oh, by the way, um, while I'm fighting around here, I looked into. I don't know if you guys remember, we got a creative modifier head. From uh, one of the quests in the beginning. It's a tin Tinker's Construct. And I looked into it. On the Tinker's Construct wiki. And it says that when you apply that. You can have unlimited modifiers. On whatever tool or whatever you put it on. So I tried it out. I didn't do it yet. But I tried it out. On, on the sword. Uh, on this sword here. And then it said uh, modifier as a modifier. I don't know if that makes sense. And so I think that we could put unlimited modifiers on that. So I was thinking that I'm probably going to do that. And then just keep putting lifesteal. So a few more necrotic bones. And um, lap it, uh, not nether quartz to get more damage. Um, not gonna do it yet. Uh, if you guys have any other recommendation, what I should put it on? I don't see it on a on a pick or something. I think the sword would be the best because pick we don't do much mining, and shovel and so on is really not needed. All right, I bet there's something up here. Which is ah chest. Whoa. Stone. Any more torches. Okay. Good. Anything else? Okay, and I saw another node somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Let's go over there. And there is a lot of ore. Like I, I read once a commentary from the, from the mod maker of this deep dark, and he said it has the same. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I should actually scan them to get the aspects. Um, and he said that it's supposed to have the same ores. Then the overworld, no difference. There's another node over. There. I think we're covered on nodes now, guys. 
So I think we should continue on Thomcraft. Because some of the wand focuses and stuff, they're fun. I'm not going to start mining by hand. But I think we're going to make an ender quarry. I think that'd be a nice little project we can do. And set this up here and then set up uh, automation with our ME system and stuff. Process all the ores. Uh, another thing is, before I cut out the recording now and start looking for one of these structures here. Um, we need to redo our power generation in the base. Because if in the in the main factory, if I turn on... Oh my god, there's a lot of mobs now. If I turn on, let's say, the, the uh, redstone furnace that makes the bricks, and have the six pulverizers going, and the three other furnaces for the charcoal and stuff, we're actually starting to drain the the um, energy cell now. I can't keep up with those five um, generators that run on the blaze powder. So I'm considering moving our power into a different building and then, you know, upping it a lot. Um, and then actually using tesseracts to go to the factory and so on. All right, anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and pause here now and then just adventure in a straight line. We came from there, so I'm going to continue this way. And I'm just going to continue until hopefully I find one of these structures and then we explore that. Okay, we're about... Um, this is around zero, 0, and we are at 360. So about 360 blocks away from where we came down. I came I hope you guys can see that it's probably gonna be super dark. But I came down from over here and then I had a chunk loading error and I'm like I'm gonna turn left and then ran into this one. You don't see it until you're about sixty blocks close to it. I see another node over there. Um and on the way here I found about six or seven more nodes, so I should have thought of this right away when when i was thinking of how can we recharge this but honestly on a on a server i've never really spent that much time in the deep dark because most servers have a mining age and stuff so it wasn't necessary i'm gonna send some of the stuff home now and that's yeah it works because it's chunk loaded so we have some room for um whatever loots we get in there now and the nice thing is, if... Oh, we got a spider trophy. Nice. If the logistics pipe doesn't know where to put it, it just lets it sit in here, and then when I get back to the base, I'll put that stuff where it belongs. All right. So this one is empty. And should we start... Yeah, that's probably easier. Let's start top to bottom. And hopefully I can show most of this here instead of having to edit everything out because we're running over the time but we'll see all right go down here there's dark that's cool there's colored wood planks we have plenty of torches so i'm just gonna light up everything so hopefully we don't have many mobs spawn where we already went. This colored bricks red. Black. I'm just gonna take out whatever is useless in the way. I don't want to. I don't like destroying spawners, so let's see if I can stop them from. Oh, I need to. I no. Yeah, I can just destroy the chest. That way, if we ever name tag. Bricks. Who 
okay. Why don't we just close the door so they can't get out? Oh my goodness, you guys are so loud. Where are they? Are they down one? Alright, I, I need to tone down the sound. Sorry guys, this is annoying. Put a 1% so we can hear something. But it's not deafening. Hmm. We have plenty of torches, so... Eh. I really want to know where this banging is coming from. This is annoying. Huh. I had no idea that this drill can do that. Like, Inker's Construct, you need to have the torches to the right or to the left of the pick. But I guess with the diamond drill, you don't need to have them on your bar at all. That's actually pretty cool. How you doing, buddy? You can up on me like that. Wow. Okay, that could have been nasty. Especially because I'm... I'm rocking the goggles! And the jetpack, not real armor. I heard a door opening. What did we get? Knowledge fragments, that's not bad. In case you guys never seen that, what you do is... Simply right click them and you get free aspects. And I should have kept one to scan it, but oh well. Now where did this creeper come from? Yeah, I'm probably gonna edit out some stuff here guys, because this is like the same thing over and over and I don't want you guys to get bored by watching this. But I'll keep recording anyways in case something happens like getting jumped by three creepers and I die or something like that. We have this floor done now. I think we do. Yes. Go down. You can get claustrophobic in here. Uh, one of my buddies on a server actually built a base in one of these in the deep dark uh, I don't know I to me that's a little depressing but it turned out pretty nice he used a lot of glowstone and stuff so when you came close to it um, from your portal or whatever it, it, it looked kind of cool because it was really glowing Okay, I remember there being more stuff to do in. How you doing? I think I found them. Alright, I'm gonna destroy this one now because we already have one zombie and one skelly. Two skellies in here. So we don't need to keep all of them. And I'm gonna leave these bricks. 
don't really need the boots either. Uh, as long as I have still room, it's fine. Alright, did I finish this floor? What do you guys think? Like you can answer me. <laughs> yes! You searched every room twice! Move on already! I could find the ladder. Is there, there's no map here, nothing. Uh, okay, I'm lost. Ah, there we go. I didn't go this way. Ooh. I think I found the cause of all the noise. Maybe not. They keep going. I see two rubber ashes, thorns. Oy, oy, oy. A lot of garbage. I need doors. I need chests. We really don't need gunpowder. We have so much of that. Ash we get in the nether. I'm gonna keep the heads. I'm gonna keep those saplings because I don't have any. For whatever reason, if we would ever need them. A lot of skellies. Okay, Jesus Christ. Take it easy. They bounced me around like a ping pong ball. Bronze boots, those are good for enchanting. Steel sword, red. Let's have a munch. Mmm, delicious. Alright, let me leave some other stuff here. I don't need obsidian. I'm only gonna take one of each. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna scan them here and then leave them. What do I need this? Alright, and scan these guys. Uh, I'm never gonna use a steel sword either. But I'm gonna take the bronze boots because they're good for enchanting. Okay. Where did we come from? Oh. I think from the right here. I think I'm gonna dream of this hammering on the door tonight. Alright, I, we got everything. I wonder how many mobs that is. I just destroyed your spawner? Where are you coming from? Mm. No way! A builder's wand! Now that we made one today. <laughs> uh, let's take one of these stencils. We don't need two of them. Ah, uh, that's funny. We get a builder's wand. That's like a slap in the face. I think how many mobs are there? A thousand banging on that door? That's what it sounds like to me.
Oh, we're still a few floors up. Hmm. Potatoes. Alright, we're starting to run out of room here. I do want to take these because we got one from a quest. And I don't know if we need those for something. Okay, this tin and copper is not gonna go through because it doesn't know where to put it. Um, the iron, and we can stack all these things. Gold. Alright, that should be good. It's actually I'm starting to sweat because whenever I record I need to turn off the air conditioning or you guys hear like this background humming um, but usually I don't record for longer than maybe you know 15 minutes and then take a cut or something but now I'm starting to get hot see what I do for you guys but I love doing it a lot of fun I'm gonna take this because um, I don't know if you can craft those or not. Maybe we can collect them all. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever played with the Portal Gun mod, but it has my favorite music disc. Portal um, game sound music. I always craft it. My favorite part about that mod. Go ahead and uh, ban the portal guns and all that stuff, which most servers it is banned. But leave me my my music disc. And try. Let's see if we can disable this guy because we don't have a fighter spawner yet. That'd be cool. Yay, horse arm. And they're lily seeds, that's nice. I haven't gotten any doubles yet um, from harvesting all those ender lilies so far. Not one of them gave me an extra. First time playing through, I did. So I don't know what that is all about. This here, I don't need another horse armor. We don't even have horses. But I think I have one of every kind waiting in the chest. Who knows? Maybe there's a quest or something for them once. Having one is good. But more, no thanks. In my next series though, oh yeah. Need a lot of armor. Not just for horses. Can't wait. Um... Um, this weekend, uh, so tomorrow and Sunday, I'm probably not going to release a Crafting Paradise episode because I want to use both days for the new series. Um, I might even live stream day one and day two on Twitch and then uh, upload those unedited ones. I'm not sure yet. Hey, I'm right here. Where are you going? And then make an edited version. Holy mother. Okay. We're gonna end up with 100 levels by the time we're done here. Whoop. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this new uh, mod pack. That I'm gonna start. 
I think we're on the ground floor now. Because due to the sheer amount of mobs. I mean, there, the mod pack itself, there's not going to be something that's like never seen before. Like, you know, when Agrarian Skies came out or something like that. But it is a very different... Um, mod pack than any other 1.7 mod packs right now. There is one or so similar in the 1.6 version and also 1.5. Um, but I wanted to make my own mod pack. So I put it together, been testing it for quite a while and tweaking it. But I am going to upload it to my private server that I have. So a few buddies of mine can also join. Oh, no, no. And, you know, really beta test, not just me, but other guys. You know, everybody plays different, so they might start with a different mod pack than me and so on. Eh, not mod pack, but... Oh, this is with Exodus. So we probably want to block this off for now. Um, you know, like, I, I want to focus on a certain mod in the beginning, and they might, you know, do other mods in the beginning, so we get uh, faster testing. Eat these little dudes. Oh my god, how many zombies? I have uh, such a hard time hitting them. Another stencil, another iridium. That is actually nice. Oh, and I got four extra in the lily seeds. And I'm gonna scan this guy before I toss it out. Uh, okay, we'll leave the rest. I think we're almost done in this place anyway. Yeah, you hold his brain. What the f Nice, take a quick breather here and heal up. Yep, it's about time that we're done in here anyway because I'm down to, I think, what did I just see? 16 torches? <laughs> I guess four stacks of torches almost. Yeah, 16. Alright. So they came from... Why did they keep spawning over here? They must be getting in somewhere. Maybe from here, yes. I'm guessing there's somewhere away to the outside. Alright, let me see if I can drop something else off. Yeah, let's just... Who cares about this? We have so much of that stuff. We're never gonna use all the ones we have. Get close to half a barrel on each one of this. Give me your brain. I, I'm, I'm definitely going to upgrade the sword again with this creative thing.
because you know having to two hit these guys we should be pa way past that stage well i guess i could use the what is that ic2 sword called that we got something saber i forgot the exact name of it Not lightsaber. Those I want to take because, well, who knows? Maybe we'll get into bees. If we're crazy enough. I actually do like bees, but I got really spoiled. The last few mod packs I played all had Gendistry. And, you know, I did learn it the. Uh, I don't know if old fashioned way is the right way to say that, but, you know, when you just had the regular DNA and all that stuff, I'm out of torches. I have no more torches. Yes, I could use these guys. They're so cheap. I mean, one glowstone gives you 32 of these nooks. Uh, it is once you you know you start sifting for that, it's it's so cheap to make that. Okay, so this is the ladder, right? So we're on the bottom. Okay, I think we finished this place. A couple of spawners if we ever need them, and this colored bricks and all this stuff. I figure there's somebody up here. Okay, so I'm gonna run back because I have less than half jetpack, so I can't fly there. And then, you know, I don't want to run out of juice, and then I need to pillar up to get to the exit. So I'm just gonna. Um, oh, there's one more, two more nodes here. There's so many nodes. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm gonna run back, and then when we're in the base, and I cleaned up all this loot mess and stuff, then. Well, actually, I think I'm just going to call it here, guys. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. If you liked the episode, give me a thumbs up, please. And uh, subscribe to the channel. So this weekend you get the updates once I upload the first episode of the new series. And I'm just double checking. Today is Friday. Yes. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Sometimes I get that mixed up. Um, and then um, the next Crafting Paradise episode is going to come out latest on Monday. Maybe I'll get one in on Sunday. But tomorrow for sure I want to do the new mod pack. And I also have a lot of stuff to do with the server. And um, I gotta, I'm gotta i actually reinstalling that server completely. And then adding all the, the plugins and Minecraft and the mod pack. And then I'm sure there's going to be many things I need to tweak and and fix because it's a big difference from server to single player. Um, well, I shouldn't say a big difference. A big difference in maintaining them. So I'm sorry for the rambling again. Guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.